It's not uncommon for a news publication to endorse a political candidate, proposition, or a certain campaign. However, in a bizarre twist, the New York Times just made a glowing recommendation for something the public can't even see. Last week, the New York Times editorial board wrote an article titled, A Pacific Trade Deal. In it, they described the TPP, or the Trans-Pacific Partnership, as an agreement that could, quote, help all of our economies and strengthen relations between the U.S. and several important Asian allies. That's interesting. I wonder how the gray lady has such a clear understanding of a trade deal that's so secretive that even most members of Congress have no access to the text. Not only is the end result secretive, those investor-to-state dispute mechanisms, but the process by which they're getting to close this deal is also very secretive. The chair of the subcommittee of jurisdiction around international trade, and he has not had access to the text, near, nor has his cleared staff had access to the text. And this is actually goes against past practice in trade negotiations. Congress isn't involved. The other agencies aren't involved, we're not involved. So it's really like a slow motion coup d'etat. A slow motion coup d'etat might sound like hyperbole until you consider what's at stake. The TPP, which is made up of a 12 country trade bloc spearheaded by the US, is not being negotiated by world leaders, but instead by multinational corporations. Yes, big banks, big ag, global telecom, pharmaceutical, and fossil fuel giants are all standing to benefit immensely from the passing of this deal. See, there are over 600 U.S. corporate advisors ensuring that the final outcome of the tax guarantees corporate profits over public good. And of the 29 chapters, only five of them actually deal with trade. The rest set a very dangerous precedent on everything from intellectual property rights to food safety to the eradication of the Buy America Act, not to mention the international court tribunals that would usurp national sovereignty. And to make matters worse, not only have the talks been conducted in the dark, but Obama's now trying to bypass Congress completely to fast track the bill, which would bring the TPP straight to his desk for a signature. Knowing the vital importance of this impending agreement, it's discouraging to say the least that such little attention has been given to these secret talks. And it's even more disconcerting to see esteemed publications like the New York Times actually supporting the deal. Because it means, like the EFF points out, that they've either seen the document and are refusing to fulfill their journalistic pledge to provide the American people with pertinent information, or that they haven't seen it and they're endorsing it because they know that being members of the establishment corporate press, they'll benefit from it just the same.